Please oh, welcome to the blue corner, Kara Greenwell. Kara Greenwell, title fight. Let's get this going. The Fury FC amateur women's straw weight title on the line. Kara Greenwell has been fighting since 2016, brings in a 10 and 5 record. Coming back to fight for this title here at Fury FC. Hasn't fought since 2020. Has won titles and other promotions. First time here for Fury. Yeah, and you know, this is this is one of those women that, you know, she's got a ton of experience. She's got a winning, a big winning record. Uh, you know, she's got the look, she's got great physique, a uh, very technical fighter. So, I mean, this is a, I'm not surprised she's fighting for a title here. I know that there, there, are, there are people that may think that there are, there are other people ahead, but I'm telling you right now, with the women's division being kind of small, every woman who is in that division who's winning has a shot to take this record. So, win or lose here, she is a formidable force in this division and deserves to be here in this, in this title fight. She gets a chance to beat Rome the champ. And Mia Graw, one of the hottest names here in Houston MMA and statewide as well. Kara Greenwell already announced that this is her final amateur fight. She is turning pro, has already signed a deal with Fury to make her pro debut after this fight. Let's go inside to meet her opponent, the champ. Please welcome to the red corner, Mia Graw. Mia Graw. Five and one, the champ coming off that big win at Fury Challenger Series one when she beat Alexandra Carlson in December. Best way to describe her is technically mayhem. Yeah, she is going to come in here and she is going to make this whatever type of fight she wants to make it. If she wants this to be a brawl, that's where it's gonna go. She has the good technical skills to stay safe. She has good defensive wrestling. She has good grappling. She's a very good striker and very, very aggressive. She will not back down. She will be in the face of, of Kara the whole time. Guarantee it. We can guarantee you that. We don't know who's going to win or lose. We can guarantee you that Mia is going to stay in her face for this entire fight. It's funny going to watch, you know, I haven't seen Kara Greenwell fight. She hasn't fought for Fury first time. Going back to watch some of her fights, same thing. She's yeah. just going to be in your face. So we're about to get a treat. Look at our tail of the tape brought to you by Private Label. You see the even on the height for both of these fighters and that four-inch reach advantage for Kara Greenwell. Both fighters did make weight. The 24-year-old Mia Greenwell looking for her title here at Fury. Let's go inside for our championship introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by Private Label is scheduled for three rounds. I'm sorry, five rounds in the Fury Amateur Series Strawweight Division. And it is for the Fury Amateur Series Strawweight Championship. <laughs> Introducing the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. Sitting five feet four inches tall, she weighed in officially at 114.6 pounds. Fighting out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, she holds an amateur record of 10 wins, 5 losses. This is Kara Greenwell! And introducing her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist is 5 feet 4 inches tall, and she too weighed in at 114.6 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, she holds an amateur record of five wins, only one defeat, and she is your reigning and defending Fury Amateur Series Strawweight Champion. This is Mia Bra Bra. Your referee in charge, Patrick Patlon. All right. Both Can't ladies with tight it. braids here, Raheel, but I have to give the advantage to Mia Graw with the hair. She's got the stars braided into the side. It's awesome. I don't know how you would do that. Takes skills to pay the bills, Michael. That's right. Blue gloves for Greenwell, red for Mia Graw. Didn't you see how Mia defends against the longer reach of, of Cara uh, Greenwell? 
And also be interesting to see how Kara uses that reach. You know, they're the same height, but it a significant reach advantage for, for Kara. Kara with the blue gloves. A nice little flurry there that just misses from Greenwell. Ooh. Mia Garai has accomplished so much already in her young amateur career. Five and one record. Already has the championship at Challenger Series. Wonder if she turns pro, if she does win this fight. Something to watch out for. We've heard both Rich and Eric Garcia talk about this. The direction from the UFC is, man, it, it, in the strawweight division especially, you turn pro, you get four or five wins. Maybe even three, you will get the call. Yeah, it's one of those divisions where, you know, these these women are going to stay ready. When they decide to make pro, go pro, even if they've got one win, they, they're the, it's the weight class where you need to stay ready. You can be called any time to come up and fill in for a fighter or whatever, because they don't like scrapping these off the card because, you know, they don't know when they're going to get. There's just not a lot of women uh, this size that, that fight. As expected, good technical exchanges from both fighters thus far. Yeah, so far, Kerry Greenwell getting the better of the exchanges, it looks like. Mia playing back just a little bit more, playing a little bit safer than we usually see her at this point of the fight. Kerry Greenwell, her brother who passed away in 2015, is her inspiration, got into MMA, Started training boxing as well. Her brother encouraged her so much. In fact, she keeps a picture of him in her gym bag to always remind herself about that inspiration from her brother. Fighting for more than just herself. Not phased at all is Kara Greenwell thus far. You know, Mia Garai doing a good job of landing those leg kicks, but man, Kerry Greenwell is doing a great job in the stand-up here. I'm not surprised she's wanting to take this fight to the ground or close the distance unless you can see some already a little damage over the right eye of, of Mia Graal there. Under five seconds now. By the way, fight scheduled for five rounds. Championship fights in our amateur division, five rounds. Good opening round for Kara Greenwell coming into a hostile environment. Mia Graw definitely runs the city of Houston. You can hear her fans. Yeah, you see right there, I think that's the punch that did the damage to the right eye of Mia Graw. But again, that long reach advantage proving to be a little bit of a problem there for Mia. You know, Mia's still landing well, still doing very well. Has landed some good punches of her own, but it's taken a little bit of damage in this first round. I gotta say, I think Kara Greenwell may have taken that first round. Both ladies looking very fresh. I want to send some love. One of my friends, Becca, is watching. Shout out to her baby, Baby Z, born just a couple of weeks before our baby that I had with my wife. Supporting her local fighters. Love seeing that. Hope you're getting some sleep. Somehow, some way, we are. Four months now for us. <laughs> You've seen the progression of my energy picking up in the last couple of <laughs> broadcasts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Raheel's asleep for a couple of shows after he came here. Oh, man. He did the opens, and then he just fell asleep on my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> I was happy to accommodate him, though. I mean, look at that right eye. Underneath the right eye of Mia Graw, turning a little black there. Yeah, it's a little swollen. Uh, you know, if, if she keeps that up, you know, uh, Greenwell doing a good job of throwing that jab right into that eye. You've got a, a southpaw against an orthodox fighter, and so... You know that 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 jab is the the closest thing to that jab is that right forehead of of Mia Graw, and so you know doing a great job of of tagging that spot. Hey, Greenwell just moving forward, good counter punching now from Mia Graw. That good head movement from Greenwell, but Graw still able to land there a few times. Nice shot oh, there nice. for Mia Graw. Very quick explosion to the back there. Kara Greenwell Ooh. looking to get, she's got hooks in. 
Wow, beautiful transition. There's that transitions. figure four. Yeah, beautiful transitions there from Kara Greenwell. She's on the back. Mia, no stranger to this position, though. Mia knows exactly what to do from this position. Keeping that perfect angle to prevent that rear naked choke. But now on top with the body lock in place. Posting up is Mia Graw. Yeah, this is taking a little bit of a toll on Mia. You know, with that body lock, her trying to stand up, you typically would not want to do that. Standing up makes it very difficult. She is, did reach up and grab the head and is spinning around in that body lock now. So back on top and in the guard. Kara would be wise to let go of that body lock here from the bottom. Work a little bit more so she can move her transitions if she's going to submit from the bottom. You definitely can't do it with that body lock. Under one minute. Yeah, remember, five five round fight here. These ladies, this, you know, anytime you take damage, anytime you have to fight out of a position like that, it takes a lot of toll on your on that cardio. Oh, big punches now from Mia Graw. Yeah, Mia waking up a little bit here, getting very, very close with that overhand right. Ooh, nice left hand. Ooh, nice left hook there from Mia. Mia starting to land a little bit, start, starting to find her spot. Good catch of the kick from Greenwell. 10 seconds left in round two. Man, what a grueling round for both ladies. Yeah, Greenwell getting low on that body lock. Woo! Trying to kind of lean Mia Graw back. And you see that right eye of Mia. That thing is almost closed now. Kara Greenwell very effective with that jab. That's a tough round to call, Raheel. Good takedown, good control from Kara Greenwell. But once they got up, Mia was landing the better shots. But still, even with landing the better shots, not a lot of damage to Kara Greenwell right now. Round Here we go, highlights. second round. Nice little right there from, but again, that lands on the on the right eye again of Mia Graw. And here she goes. She took a big chance there to take the back. You know, a lot of times you get dumped like that, but not able to finish, not able to get her, Mia yeah, able to spin and then get back up to her feet. Got in the guard, they got back up to her feet and then landed the better shots there at the end of the round. See Mia got a, some noticeable damage on her face here. And Kara Greenwell still looking very, very fresh. You know, and damage doesn't necessarily mean anything as far as the fighter's psyche, as far as their cardio. It doesn't mean anything. It just, you know, as you progress through the fight and as it gets closer, you know, you got to wonder how the judges will see that. And there she goes. She lands again. Nice one, two. Double jab there from Mia Graham. Ooh. Nice body shot. It's a loud check. Probably slipped in just a little bit. Kara getting in tight there again. Got to wonder if her corner told her that she, they thought maybe she had the advantage on the on the ground, which would surprise me. Mia Graw very savvy on the ground. I mean, we saw that in her defense. Uh, you know, when when she did get her back taken, you know, definitely not what you want. But once she got there, she knew exactly what to do and went straight. You know, point A to point B, which was back to her feet as quickly as you possibly could. Mia Graw also active in grappling tournaments, has competed as a mission hunter as well. As you mentioned, really good grappler. They're doing a good job here of punishing Mia just a little bit with that head on the chin. Kind of pushing and grinding her into the cage. Just gotta be careful here. Mia kind of going over the top there. Kara almost ducked under. Mia went right back and got pretty square. Got that overhook again. She has the underhook now. It's a better position for Mia. Good Both ladies landed some knees yeah. there. Or knee for knee. Fans trying to encourage Mia Graw to find that next gear. Round three, yeah, one Kara, minute. Yeah, Kara going for that double leg there. And then 
you know, switches here, just decides to punish Mia just a little bit on the cage over there. Taking that head, pulling it down. And Kara Grillo applying all sorts of pressure. Yeah, she's relentless, Raheel. I mean, just never letting up on the pressure. Doing a great job at mitigating damage here. Got to be careful here. This is uh this is a this can be a peculiar position if she's got to clear her head uh, in order for this to be effective, and then maybe get a hook in, get a little more square to her, get a hook under that with the foot underneath that knee. Yeah, it's slipping off there. <laughs> head pressure has been relentless as well. Yeah, and you know, Kara just adding to that that swollen eye there of Mia, you know, pushing those braids up against there and then kind of landing a punch right over the top of the head. Very nice. And look how fresh Kara Greenwell looks. Yeah, she looks very fresh. She does have a little cut under her left eye now, but, uh, you know, Mia Graw still, that right eye is, is pretty damaged. Uh, the cheekbone and eyebrow are pretty damaged. Nice leg kick there. You can see Mia wins just a little bit there. Another nice knee to the gut. That one's very, very close to the liver. These ladies trying to chain, exchange knees there. And the difference is, you know, when Mia was throwing those knees, Kara immediately saw and kind of transitioned down to the leg to see if she could go for a takedown or at least give her the feint that she was going to go for the takedown to make her stop throwing those knees. Smart fight so far for Kara Greenwell. See, she's smiling over there on the on the stool. She's having a blast. It's a heck of a test for both women. We already know Kara Greenwell turning pro after this fight. Had a 4-0 stretch in 2018, as we mentioned. Hasn't fought since 2020, but that 4-0 stretch in 2018 really showcased her abilities. Well, she hasn't fought since 2020, but you can tell she's been in the gym. Very nice technical fight. You know, championship rounds here. Round four, this is, you know, this is where people get tested. You know, you can fight three rounds, and you get used to fighting three rounds, but, you know, rounds four and five are healed. Those really, really take a toll on you. Ooh, good jab there from Mia Graw. Nice body kick from Greenwell. Cardio doesn't seem to be an issue for either either woman. Both ladies staying very, very active here deep into rounds. Round four, both ladies still defending well, still throwing hard, still very, very active. This is the Mia Gras that we've seen coming out throwing a lot of volume, a lot of technical strikes. Looks more like herself in round four right now. Yeah, so far so good, and she's still taking a couple jabs on that swollen right eye. I mean, that's kind of that that uh, that eye is kind of telling the story of the fight. You know, she's kind of winning with Ooh. those jabs and setting up with those jabs, and hasn't taken a lot of damage. Very good head movement from both ladies. I mean, if this was a boxing match, this would be a great yeah. fight. <laughs> Ooh, nice right hand there from Kara Greenwell. Another right hand. Now Greenwell walking back, Mia Graw, good check there. A return high kick from Graw. And they're playing I go, you go there a little bit. And again, Kara going into the cage, making this fight just dirty. Pushing into the chin, pushing into the cheekbones. One minute left, round four. Championship on the line. Yuri FC amateur strawweight title. Nice overhand right there from Kara Greenwell on the break. Mia comes right back with a right hand of her own. Nice right hand. And man, Kara Greenwell just looks Ooh. like she has a constant smile on her face right now. Mia trying to do something about that. Just punches her in the teeth with that left hand. Oh, nice left hand. High kick. Beautiful combination from Kara Greenwell. Neither fighter flinching. That's the best no. part. 
10 seconds left. Ooh, nice little flurry here from Kara here at the end. Mia responds. Nice couple of punches of her own. All right, we go to the fifth round, Michael. Wow. This has been a fun one. Yeah, man. These ladies are very active, very accurate, great boxing, great technical skills from both ladies. You see her nice right hand there, followed by a left jab. Here we go with that body kick. See, that hurt just a little bit. That's going to hurt tomorrow. Nice right hand there from Kara Greenwell. Nice overhand lands just above the ear. Almost in a good spot. Nice slip and rip. There they land a, a kind of simultaneous punch, but Mia kind of landed a few punches here of her own. Nice on the jab. Both ladies landing there. Big overhand left there with a nice follow-up with a high kick there. Kind of keeping Mia Graw guessing, Raheel. Kara with a beautiful game plan for this fight. We haven't seen Mia Graw push like this in a while, and, this, and look, that's a good thing, right? If you're you want a, a tough fight, test all of your skill set. Gonna get a look at that eye real quickly. Doctor's gonna take a look at it. Mia Gras says, I'm fine. Swelling looks to be under control. It is a little swollen, of course, but. Yeah, and it's still open. I, yeah. think, I think she's gonna be fine. Yeah. Just to be safe, fighter safety, especially with the amateurs. Yeah. Doctor will take a look, make sure everything is good. To yeah, think, yeah. That was just just to be a precautionary measure. Patch pot one, just making sure. Oh yeah. All right, fifth round. Here we go. See if we can avoid going to the judges' scorecards. Is there a finish in sight for either fighter? Man, and I think you know this this fight has gone well. And you know they always say to beat the man, you got to beat to beat the man, you got to beat the man. And but, man, I just think even if there's not a finish here, unless something dramatic happens here in the fifth round, I think this is Kara Greenwell's fight to lose right now. I think she's she's won every round. Uh, you know, one round was was pretty close, but I, I think she's I feel like she's won every round so far. Ooh, me and these are these are turn it up. And, you know, that's gonna be very difficult to do. You got a, an, a fighter in front of you that's in very good shape that's still very active, that's still very aggressive, still throwing punches. It'd be very, very difficult. <laughs> that body shot with right to an inside leg kick. And that body of, of Mia Graw is gonna be sore tomorrow. But even Mia, Mia is not slowed down not one bit. All. Not even a, a hair, both these ladies we're prepared for this championship fight and nice combination there to the body for Mia Graw. Ooh, oh, and another and one. Kara that one slipped another, through for sure. Yeah. Another kick right underneath that floating rib. Mia Graw oh, not even showing any it didn't wince at all. Whew. No, and that just shows how good their cardio is. Nice little exchange there. And Kara Greenwell that she has to know she's ahead on the cards. And she is still going after this. She is not letting up a bit. She's not taking anything safe. Very impressive with these two ladies. No signs of shooting and trying to ride out no. the win. She's looking for a finish in her final amateur fight is Kara Greenwell. Oh, oh man, beautiful flurries. Yeah, beautiful boxing there from Kara Greenwell. Mia's got about one minute here to kind of let it all hang out. And I have a feeling that's exactly what she's going to do. Man, she is just taking a, taking shots over and over. Uh, I think that's a bad idea for Mia there. I just don't think she has enough time to do anything effective on the ground here. Even if she takes her down, even if, if Kara gives this up. Ooh, big dump here. Very nice. But she's in a guillotine. Doesn't have both hands together, but this is a bad spot. Ooh. It's kind of a bulldog choke here at this, that five-fingered oh, guillotine there, man. very tough. Good transition there from Kara Greenwell, big slam from Mia Graw, but that might have ended up backfiring a little bit because now in control is Kara Greenwell for the final 15 seconds of this fight. Wow. 
And Kevin Greenwell is a savage, man. I'm telling you, we, we talked about this this morning. You and I always talk before the fights. We have yeah. a call. And I said, you know, just going back and watching Kara's fights, she is a tough fighter. And yes. this is not going to be an easy fight. And it shouldn't be an easy fight if you're defending a title. Yeah. And, you know, coming into hostile territory like this, putting on a performance like this, we have no input on whether who wins or loses. But I'm telling you right now, that was a dominant performance from Kara Greenwell. I am impressed, man. I, Kara Greenwell, can't wait to see more of her in the Fury Pros. Yeah. And I think the story of the fifth round was those body kicks from Kara Greenwell. You had this big exchange here, nice moment there for Mia. But then Kara didn't let go of that neck and almost had that five-finger guillotine. She let go of one hand, got up to her feet, got up to her knees, and I thought she was going to go for that executioner choke. But, you know, decided to get back up, bang it out for just the last few seconds. And, you know, I think that one of the – I think she's I think she's our new champ for Hill. Wow, look at Mia Gras' eye right now. That wow. is shut. Yeah, and either way, nothing, no shame from Mia Graw at all. She is, she is absolute savage. She's very young, you know, five and one. She'll be back no matter what the outcome of this fight is. Getting, see Eric with the belt. Eric Garcia, president of Fury FC. By the way, had an interview on. Extra rounds with TJ DeSantis earlier yeah. this week. Make sure you check that out. Available everywhere you get your podcast. Yeah. Judge the scorecards you see on camera right now. Wayne Leggett, best dressed man in MMA, has the results in his hands. The private label bag, the pink one for the ladies. I like it. Yeah. Where's our private label bag? I, I, need I don't a, know. I need to put my shoe collection in it. Yeah. All right. Let's see how the judges scored it. Here's Wayne Leggett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of combat, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision brought to you by OnlyFans. The scores of 49-46, 50-45, and 49-46. Your winner by unanimous decision in New Fury Amateur Series, Strawweight Champion. Congratulations to Kara Greenwell. What a performance.